First, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed, liked, commented. I appreciate everything that you've said. No matter what you've said, I appreciate the likes. Please share this with your friends. Make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you hit that share button. We're trying to make sure that everybody know that they're not victims, that they're empowered for greatness, that we can make a difference again in this nation that we can stand up for biblical values, we can stand up for truth and push back against all the lies and everything that's false that's taking place in this land. So I appreciate that. And please, thank you for looking at my videos and participating and making our voice known. No, Leah Thomas is not Jackie Roberts. There was this op-ed posted by Purdue University professor of women's studies that compared Jackie Robinson to Leah Thomas or Will Thomas, the biological male who was competing in female sports. And so they like to equate the two, the things that Jackie Robinson did to break down a color barrier. She's trying to equate that to what Leah Thomas is doing. It's offensive and it's incorrect. Because number one, Jackie Robinson was fighting for the inclusion of an entire race and entire ethnicity, not just into baseball, but into society at large. There was actually laws on the books that endorsed segregation. You ever heard of Jim Crow? There were laws on the books that said that black people were not equal. Ever heard of separate but equal education? There were people that called Jackie Robinson all kind of names that sent him death threats, that attacked his family. All of those things that that man had to endure just to play the game of baseball. Leah Thomas is not experiencing that. Leah Thomas has op-eds written about him claiming that he is a trailblazer. Leah Thomas has people on ESPN and other outlets clamoring and celebrating the work he's done. I don't see any of the same vitriol that Jackie Robinson had to endure that Leah Thomas is having to endure. As a matter of fact, it's the female swimmers who are suffering the vitriol from pushing back against this LGBTQIA plus whatever feministic and Black Lives Matter narrative. This spirit of homosexuality, this perverted spirit that has been released in this land is looking to take over from the White House to your house. It wants to indoctrinate our children into the LGBTQIA plus lifestyle. Why else are people so upset about a law in Florida that only talks about not teaching about sexual orientation to kindergartners through third grade. Why do you want to tell our children about sexual orientation so bad? What is it that you're looking to do that has you so upset? What is it? That's the question that we should be asking these people. Why are you so upset behind this? Is it because your agenda is being exposed? Is it because this throws a wrench in your plans to make everybody in America LGBTQIA? Does it throw a wrench in your plans to use sexuality and race to destroy this nation to enable the rewriting of a new constitution? Is that what is going on? I believe that is. I believe that's exactly what's going on. But see, what they fail to realize is that America is a democratic republic, that states have sovereignty, and that if you have a governor that is sane and a governor that stands on values, traditional American values, that governor can put things in place that can thwart your plan to indoctrinate and bring up a generation in the LGBTQIA lifestyle. Look, we are not victims. What they're pushing is a different form of victim mentality because being brought up in that lifestyle only leads to victimization. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. And it is so upsetting and frustrating as a black man that they use black bodies to justify the LGBTQ push. 
Black Lives Matter did it. They used dead black bodies to advance their agenda. They used dead black bodies to advance their cause and their mission. And the LGBTQIA is doing the same thing and feminists did it themselves. They're using black people as their stepping stone. They're stepping on the backs of black people to achieve their goal. They are. They don't care about black people. They never did and they never will. Because to them, it's all about power and control. And the simple fact that this person will compare Leah Thomas, a person that made a choice, a person that was dealing with deception, a person whose mind has been deceived, that they will equate that person to Jackie Robinson. Jackie had no choice in the ethnicity he was born in. He couldn't go and say, okay, let me change my ethnicity. I'm going to bleach my skin and become white. He had no choice. He did. Will Thomas, Leah Thomas, made a decision. But instead of counseling that young man and getting that young man some assistance, we are now normalizing that behavior. We are normalizing behavior that is abnormal. And we're turning behavior that is normal, abnormal. We're calling good evil and evil good. And yet people are celebrating that. They're celebrating that. And Romans 1 talks about that. And Romans 2 talks about that. You need to be very careful about what you celebrate. And for the people that are being quiet, black people, democratic people, that are being quiet when all this is going on, shame. This is the true test. Do you pledge allegiance to that at the back of a person or do you pledge allegiance to the savior that you claim to represent that's the choice it is offensive no Leah Thomas is nowhere near Jackie Robinson he is nowhere near Jackie Robinson he is not trailblazing anything if anything he is destroying women's sports he is setting a template for the destruction of women's sports. You want to know what he's trailblazing? He's blazing a trail to the destruction of women's sports. And as a father of a young girl who plays in women's sports, I will stand up against that. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. Thank you so much for liking your comments and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends. Smash that like button, smash the subscription bell, share this with everybody you know. We're trying to make sure people understand that they're not victims, that they are empowered for greatness, and all this stuff that's out here that's telling them otherwise is false and will not benefit them in the end. So please, I appreciate that. Share that.